Hey, what's up, everybody? Just back with another video. Just uh, wanted to react to another video of Pierre Polyev absolutely destroying the liberals. I enjoy watching it. I thought you guys might like watching it with me. So let's have a look, and then we'll talk about it after. While common sense conservatives are fighting to axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime, this prime minister is promising a cruel April Fool's Day joke, a 23% carbon tax hike on food, gas, and groceries. This at a time when the prime minister has forced 50 families and at CFB in Gagetown, military families to go to food banks, 2 million Canadians every month going to those same food banks, 8,000 as part of a Facebook group where they share tips on eating out of dumpsters. Will the prime minister gain some compassion and some common sense and spike the hike? <laughs> take no lessons from the conservatives when it comes to supporting the least vulnerable in our country. This is the party that She's so insufferable. To the Canada Child Benefit. This is the party that wants to cut support to our seniors. This is the party that wants to cut early learning and child care, which supports so many families. They're opposed to dental care. They're opposed to pharmacare, Mr. Speaker. Fear and falsehoods to distract from the fact that after eight years of this prime minister, he's not worth the cost, and neither is his carbon tax, which will cost the average Ontario family this coming year sixteen hundred and seventy-four dollars. Sixteen hundred and seventy-four dollars for a middle-class family that's lined up at a food bank, not able to feed themselves or pay their heating bill. Will the Prime Minister give his head a shake, cancel his, cancel his cruel April Fool's Day joke, and spike the hike? No one here is surprised to hear the Conservative leader talk about fear and falsehood because that is what he traffics in every single day. It's his area of For a liberal to talk about falsehoods like that is so ridiculous. Good. Canadians get, and he wants to cut the support Canadian families are getting from the price operation. That's eighteen hundred bucks Alberta families won't get. That's one thousand one hundred and twenty bucks Ontario families won't get. Cut, cut, cut. All they know how to do. So he, she, she just brags that Alberta families will get eighteen hundred dollars, but according to the parliamentary budget officer, the carbon tax will cost Alberta families twenty nine hundred and forty three dollars. Oh, look at that. So. She take the prime minister takes away twenty nine hundred and forty three dollars and gives back eighteen hundred dollars. Madam uh, Mr. Speaker, it's almost like he's a bank robber who thinks that he's virtuous because he tips the teller on the way out the door. <laughs> Why won't he spike the hike? The conservative leader should know a lot about living off the public purse. That's all he has done. As does every politician. Now, when it comes to the price on pollution, this is entirely revenue neutral. The government does not keep a penny. It returns more money to eight out of ten Canadian families. No, it doesn't. That's a good deal for Canadians, Mr. Speaker. My God, she is. First of all, I just want to say how insufferable Christia Freeland is. I mean, I. <laughs> I mean, every time she gets up and talks that whiny little voice, she just complains about how the conservatives want to cut things. It's like, yeah, they do want to cut things because you guys have created a gigantic financial mess in the last eight years. So they have to cut things. The, the liberals always complain about, oh, the conservatives, they just want to cut, cut, cut. Yeah, they got to come in and clean up your mess. And just do the math. It cost $2,900 for those uh, families in Alberta and they're getting 1800 they're losing $1,100 every year. But the liberals are like, no, 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 let us rip you off, and then we'll give you some of the money back, and then we'll just pretend you're making more than if these rebates weren't there. It, it's ridiculous. It's very clear that most Canadian families are not being helped by these rebates. They're being hurt because the taxes are more than the rebates. When you include gas, when you look at the inflation that's driving up uh, food prices, how much more people are paying in rent, the rebates, I mean, last time I got like a hundred bucks, I paid more than that on the tax hike that I have on my paychecks. What, what's a hundred dollars at the grocery store nowadays? 15 years ago, it was, you could fill up a grocery cart and more. 
Now you're getting one of those little baskets. And maybe, maybe you can fill it up with $50. It's it's crazy. It's it's so wild to me how even though Pierre Polyev continues to destroy these morons, they continue to push back and just lie and lie and lie and pretend that life is so good for Canadians when it's not. It's it's so ridiculous. Now the good thing is, and I don't think this is gonna work, I don't think this is gonna pass, but Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives have brought forward a motion that they will vote on tomorrow. The whole parliament will vote on tomorrow uh, regarding potentially cutting or canceling the 23% increase on the carbon tax as of April 1st. I don't believe enough liberals and NDP MPs will get on board with that. But, hey, at least they're trying, right? At least the conservatives are trying to do something to get this ridiculous tax hike to go away. Hopefully it works, but... Guys, don't get your hopes up because it's probably not going to. We're probably going to continue to see steady increases on taxes. Who knows, maybe even another tax invented by these idiot liberals. And they're just going to keep raising the prices until the middle class is destroyed. And if you think it's a conspiracy that they're not doing that on purpose, or if you think that them doing this on purpose is just a conspiracy theory, it's not. These people aren't stupid. They're trying to destroy the middle class, and it's working. And we have to find a way to stop them. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to have a way to do that until October of 2025.